Yo, what's good? Welcome back to some more rank BGC. We got a brand new team. We got Rain. Some very common Pokemon. Except we have the Hisuian Gudra. And we have the Thunderous Theron form with the Basque Legion. Basque Legion under the the Rain is a heavy hitting Pokemon. Some scary things that we do have is Hydro Pump on Pelipper, which can potentially miss. Uh, we have Amoongus, which is very supportive. Hisuian Gudra. It's a very bulky Pokemon. It's got Shelter, Heavy Slam, Body Press. We got Protect. And we have Boosted Energy, Fluttermane, Moonblast, Azurim, Shadow Ball. Um... And offensive Thunderous is going to be very interesting. It's got Wind Bolt, Bolt Switch, Grass Knot, Terra Blast Flying with the Choice Specs, which is very heavy hitting. So uh, this team is pretty offensive. But let's see, we have our first opponent, Maxim. Uh, pretty interesting team. I actually do like my, my rain here. And I'm pretty confident to lead off with Basque Legion and uh, Pelipper. Except Scizor. Scizor could be problematic. Uh, Serolege is usually Terra Grass. Uh, they could potentially set up Tailwind. I don't need yeah yeah the rain is so good here I and mean, we can bring and I think we could bring Amoongus in I think we should be fine I actually like this team seems really user friendly Just depends on how we can adjust it or adapt to it, uh, especially when it comes to like our opponents, like depending on what they bring. <laughs> but let's see what we got. So we have Lycan Rock. What does this thing do? Can I Aqua Jet into something? I know this thing probably has like. What what happens here? Do we have Aqua Jet? We do have Aqua Jet. I'm gonna Tailwind and Aqua Jet. The only thing here is that I have a feeling the Lycan Rock is probably gonna go for like a, or it's probably gonna have a Sash. I'm playing super aggressive already. Oh, no Tailwind. Okay. Yeah, it does have... Okay. Honestly, I, was, I thought I was going to see Tail... Okay, it is Tailwind, but I'm... We could have actually went for the... Uh... Okay. Wait, doesn't this thing have no guard? Huh? No, no guard? I'm confused. Now that we revealed Sash. Oh, smart. Probably going to be. I already forgot the Pokemon they have. Okay. That does so- okay, it was a crit. I was worried for a second. I was like, bro, that's so much damage. I can also Aqua Jet again. Dude, Basket Legion is so strong. 
the life orb water priority adamant nature is actually nuts is this speed it's attack okay so this is what's gonna happen i'm gonna hurricane and then we wave crash and we should be fine Oh, they're going to Terra here. Dazzle Blast? They had no Protect either. Probably made things a little bit more difficult for them. Okay. No bullet punch. That is GG. Oh, he has one more mon. I <laughs> thought he brought out all his Pokemon already. Oh, yeah, this thing. GG. Great way to start. I have nothing to say about that one. <laughs> now that felt like Pokeballs here. I was expecting like something a little bit more difficult but we made it out of four going on to five right it was four right i think it was all right let's go ahead and find ourselves another opponent all right we found ourselves an opponent what do we have oh this is not good <laughs> I believe that's a Storm Drain Tatsugiri. Um, I do like the lead. Mm, Thunderous could be cool to bring. I don't know if I want to bring Basque Legion. Because I do want Udra, I think. Udra could be good here. Heavy Slam, Body Press. Doesn't really do anything to Goldengo, which is problematic. They have a really cool team. I don't know who to lead, honestly. Uh, let's bring Amoongus, and I kind of want to bring this. I feel like I am going to need Thunderous, and we'll bring in Boosted Energy Fluttermane. I don't really want to challenge. Well, maybe I could. Cause I, I felt like I kind of needed to bring Pelipper, but then I feel like the rain would benefit Pokemon, because I needed to fight for the weather control. Um, Oracle being here could be bad. Trick Room is going to be a thing. Which is... Yeah, yeah this is already going to go bad. Trick Room is going to happen, I'm pretty sure. Um, yeah. 
Yeah, this is really bad. It's gonna be Trick Room Eruption. <laughs> yeah, I probably should have brought Pelipper and challenged the weather. Now I'm seeing what's gonna happen, which is crazy. Damn. Yep, there it is. If I would have knocked it out, that would have been great. Here it comes. Um, let's do that. And I guess I could body press the Torkoal. I think Eruption goes based off of HP. Yeah, I should have brought Rain. Here comes. I think it might even knock out Gudra. <laughs> okay, it doesn't. Windbeam? I tickled. Yeah, we lost it. <laughs> we brought super offensive Pokemon, like, it's GG. Um, like, I could double protect right now just to save a turn. Right? And just to see what it is they're gonna do. Yeah, eruption. It's just gonna be eruption spam throughout the whole game. Am I slower than... I think I'm faster, well, at least in terms of Trick Room, I think I'm faster than... Is this still chunking? I think it is. Okay. We should be fine, right? No crit shenanigans, because we need that thing gone. <laughs> ASAP. Okay, that's gone. Torkoal lives another turn. I'm pretty sure. Unless Shadow Ball does big damage. Okay. Uh, I kind of forgot what else he had in the back. But it's probably going to be something to do with... Uh, Proto. Oh, King Gambit. Yeah, Sucker Punch is fun. You know, I'm going to play super risky. Because I have a chance to go for a body press on the King Gambit. So I might actually Terra Fairy. If I can Terra, if I can terra Fairy leave a Sucker Punch from that thing. Of course, it's probably going to go for Swords Dance now, because it's predicting the, uh... Okay, cool. So, free turn here. Um... Let me see what Pokemon he has in the back. Trick Room is still active for another turn. Oh, I didn't know that's how that worked. That's cool. Actually, very cool. 
Okay, so Sucker Punch happens, right? So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to withdraw because I'm going to expect them to go for a Sucker Punch. Terra Fairy, Body Press, the King Gambit. I'm making, that's a huge play, I think. Honestly, I'm expecting huge from this play. This is such an OP play. Like, I could have sheltered too. But the Torkoal was just too much of a big threat. And I shouldn't worry too much about Torkoal. Okay, that's fine. Sucker Punch was definitely going to happen. Okay. Huge. I'm insane. Okay. Boom. Almost dead. Torkoal protected, so it was a free turn. He could have actually knocked this out. And then... I think... We win bolt here in hopes of hitting both targets and we protect. If we hit both targets, we're in a really good position. Damn, at least hit the Torkoal. Okay, King Gambit's gone. It's probably Heat Wave, maybe. Oh, it's eruption. Yeah, this should be doing less. I just realized how creepy thunderous his legs are. <laughs> yeah, this is just tickling at this point. So we're gonna wind bolt our way. Uh, we have to hope that it's something that we can actually hit, and that is not. Oh, the gold dango. Dango, go dango. Okay, we do that. And... I am going to have to target the Torkoal. Even though it's going to be faster than me, the go dango. I just need to make sure I do some damage or something. Okay. Yeah, so we, we body press that turn only because a situation like that can happen where we miss. Windbolt. I would have preferred to be locked into a volt switch, but we didn't need to volt switch out. So they already minus one. So it gives Thunderous at least another chance to live and to connect the Windbolt. But we have Shadow Ball on Fluttermane. Which is very important of me to keep that thing alive. Um, protects were so on point with this team. Unfortunately, we did lose the Amoongus early on. So let's hope we connect one of these Wind Bolts. And... Actually, we might even be able to protect here. Or we just target. I'm not sure. Because Thunderous will live. Fluttermane will will also live, and then we get another chance to go for the uh, Wind Bolt, I'm pretty sure. Unless we get crit. Or maybe I'm dumb and I should just attack. Uh, let's go. <laughs> so Wind Bolt. Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter because... Oh, wow. But it wouldn't matter because we're 7 HP. And I was over here thinking, well, special attack drops are fun. Yeah, so we're chilling. So Wind Bolt into Shadow Bolt. Like... The reason why I protected, regardless, is that what if Windbolt missed, Fluttermane dies, Windbolt misses again next turn, and I wasn't sure if Shadow Ball was going to be able to pick up the knockout type of thing. But great game so far. I'm loving this team already. Uh, the unexpected Torkoal, like, I, I don't know how, like, 
I seen the scenario happen once they led, but I didn't see it in the preview team. Like, what am I doing? Okay, rank six. We can win one more game to get out of ranks. Uh, Pokeball tier. Not bad though. Not bad of a team. I, I enjoyed the Gudra being able to survive. Uh, same with the Fluttermane on the eruptions. We just needed to get some damage off onto that Torkoal because it was hitting hard. Never understood Twin Beam. Does Twin Beam have like a effect that could be very beneficial? <laughs> okay, so I actually do like Fluttermane here. trying to think. Gudra could be good here too. Volt switching wouldn't be very ideal. I could wave crash a lot of things. I do like this, right? Last Respects is cool. Um, why am I just wanting to lead off with Fluttermane and Hisuian? Is that bad? Like, actually bad? Grimmsnarl could be a thing. We can keep him in the back. Let's see. I feel like my lead's kind of funky. Okay, this is not too bad. I'm definitely going to Terra Fairy. Hurricane. So... Let's Hurricane, right? And then... Terra. Should I Shelter? I go for the immediate... Heavy Slam. Shelter. So again, Gujar, I think would be a really cool mon. That's fine. I'm not too worried about it, but it could be problematic in the long run. Wow. Is that Focus Sash? That wasn't even Sash. It's crazy. Oh, Tonk could have went into the Gudra. It might actually go into the Gudra next turn. I think survived on 1 HP. Okay. Well, I can't Tailwind, so let's Hurricane into this slot still. And then we can Heavy Slam. It's a Grim Snarl. Light Screen? Okay. Let's just hope we are able to... Break through this paralysis. Okay. Boom. Well, oh, that's huge. Damn. It's gonna go for reflect next turn. And possibly Thunder Wave. If he Thunder Waves into Pelipper and this is something Okay, yeah it is. Um I don't know what the Hydreigons are running currently because I want to body press into the slot. I can hurricane and then I 
Let's hurricane into this slot and then we body press. It doesn't seem ideal, but we're gonna go for it. Yeah, it's gonna go for Terra. It might actually be even Terra Fire. I'm hoping it's not Ghost. Terra Flying. Okay, that's even worse. <laughs> well, not worse because we're still gonna get some damage off, but you know. Okay, Reflect comes out. Oh, Flash Cannon. That's scary. Okay. Did I bring Thunderous? I'm not sure if I did. We still have Focus Ash. <laughs> okay, so I think we Hurricane again into this slot and then we Protect. Oh, very nice. I think he still goes for Flash Hannon on the Kasuian. So this could be a free turn just to inspect to see what's going to happen here. Yeah. I didn't expect it to have Protect, usually it's just Rage Powder. Or is problematic, isn't it? Okay, Taunt wears off. How much rain do we have? We have one turn of rain. I think we Hurricane now. Alright, Tailwind. I don't have to worry about speed, actually. I shouldn't worry about speed. I should be worried about... Oh, they cancelled. <laughs> I should be worried about... Rage Powder. Honestly, this is a fun team. So far. <laughs> I think this is the best team that I've had, and I once once I seen it, I was like, Dude, this could be a very good team, honestly. Like just the Pokemon with the support with Amoongus. Maybe I'm just too used. I'm just so used to using these Pokemon, or just noticing like how simple it is. But I don't know what it is. It's a fun team. I, I like. I just probably it's probably the move set, the speed. Um, the offensiveness, the semi tankiness from the Amoongus support with the Asui and Gudra. And just the offensiveness. I don't know if I said that already, but I like the team. Thank you guys very much for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one. We made it out of Pokeball tier. Yes. Peace out.